Well, hello, human beings of all kinds of genders. I actually wanted to release that video today. I already uploaded it on YouTube, but then I had to take it off and I have to add this edit, which you are in right now, the intro of the intro, actually. So before we really have a look at the video that I prepared, I have to give you an intro to it. I have to explain a few things because yesterday I was posting on my channels a uh, thumbnail of the video, like coming soon on YouTube. And on Twitter, it created a huge reaction, a huge reaction, man. It was like so many comments. Um, it, it, was, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. I never witnessed anything like this some people had a problem with my title you know like cancel culture in scale modeling um, they were they, they did not like the cancel culture because they say like yeah that's not cancel culture Chris you're mistaken uh, different things here um, the swastika is illegal it's banned that has nothing to do with cancel culture yeah that's not what I'm talking about I will talk about in the videos about Instagram accounts of scale modelers, which are being canceled by the platform. Okay. Now. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> now I check the definition of cancel culture. Okay. This is the definition of cancel culture. According to Wikipedia, cancel culture or call out culture is a phrase contemporary to the late term, blah, 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 used to refer to a form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles, whether it be online, on social media or in person. Those subject to this ostracism are said to have been canceled. Now, the German website of Wikipedia is a bit more detailed. And I also took that out and I translated it um, through Google. So here you have it. Cancel culture is a political buzzword that describes systematic efforts to partially socially exclude people or organizations who are accused of insulting, discriminatory, racist, anti-Semitic, conspiracy, ideological, da 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 da, homophobic statements or actions. A term related to cancel culture is deplatforming which means removing the public platforms from those affected. If your scale modeling account is being accused of being a racist account, like a neo-Nazi promoting account, and you get canceled, you get deplatformed, you get deplatformed from Instagram of the social media platform. That is exactly what is in here in the definition of cancel culture. That is exactly the definition. So that is my translation of what I read here. And that's why I use this term for the title. Of course, I'm trying to use a title which catches you and catches your attention, okay? I'm not gonna use the most boring title of all times so nobody will watch the video, even though the video is maybe a thriller. Now, the most important thing that I wanna say before we start the video, and you can smash the comment section, is that I don't blame any modeler I don't blame anybody who is blurring the tails, who is not showing the tails, who is cutting off the tails, or just hiding that symbol in any kind of way in their pictures, which they are posting on any kind of social media platform these days, okay? It maybe sounds a bit like that, but I don't blame anybody. I understand the blame is not on you. The blame is on the platform. That's, that's my opinion. The blame is on the platform because they should not mistake scale modelers uh, as neo-Nazis, because in my opinion, you can make a difference, okay? You can make it out, you can make it out. You can see the scale modeling account, or you can see any neo-Nazi bastards account, okay? That's clear to see. Let's check out that very, 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 very sensitive video of mine that even created, that even the thumbnail created a huge reaction, you know, a huge reaction, which I was surprised uh, at first, I was, surprised and I was wondering like what the hell is going on here but now I'm kind of happy because it gives me a lot of steam for my engine that's a lot of content you people give me a lot of content for future episodes of the Rusty Scale Show so here's the next episode of the Rusty Scale Show it's already been discussed a lot before it even has been released so let's go check out the video have fun well, hello, boys and girls, or shouldn't I say that anymore? Because I don't even know if in 2022 you can still say such a term like hello, boys and girls, because I'm sure some people will feel offended or uncomfortable if, you know, I press them into this role, like being a boy or a girl. And then, 
you know, like, I don't know, saying just hello boys is even worse. Same with hello girls. And also that wouldn't, that wouldn't be right even because according to YouTube analytics, there are no female accounts watching my channel. And now again, you know, it's getting worse. What am I saying? I'm, I'm really, I, I should stop talking about this. So what could we say? I could say, hello, human beings. Hello, human beings of all kind of genders. Welcome to the Rusty Scale Show. I wanna, I wanna talk about that self-censorship which is taking place right now. Like it's some kind of a cancel culture that is running right now on Instagram and uh, We'll, we'll, I'll talk about this later, but I want to give you some background information first and then we come back to that topic. In the video, censorship of history and scale modeling, uh, the Instagram taboo, I was touching on a delicate subject and I was really overwhelmed by all the feedbacks and comments and reactions I got um, on this video. Not only here on YouTube, there were numerous feedbacks and comments also on Instagram and on Twitter. Now first, a few things, or actually I think like two, two things on which we can all agree. Number one, history cannot be changed nor censored because it absolutely makes no sense. I think everybody, or at least the majority, can agree on it. Second one, when it comes to the subject of showing some sensitive symbols on some certain kind of plastic models, mostly, uh, Luftwaffe aircraft, but also maybe um, Finnish aircrafts or Italian aircrafts and of course also any other um, vehicle from the Wehrmacht. So what is most important, and I didn't mention that in my first video, is actually the context and it is backed by historical facts or not. And the second question next to the context, is it appropriate? Or is it shown in an inappropriate way out of context without being backed up by historical facts. I think most of the people can also agree on that. Now many comments were like saying like, hey, come on, man, what is this stupidity of, of reporting historically accurate builded models? Another kind of opinion says that the historical documents are the films, the photos, the artifacts, the vehicles, the aircrafts itself. But if you build a model of an artifact, it's not the artifact itself. It's not the vehicle itself. You're building the model. So when you put on that certain uh, decal, that certain marking, you do it by your own will. It's your own decision and therefore you're making a political statement. I don't know, and I think that's where it splits up. So, I wanted to talk about what I witnessed lately on Instagram. The self-censorship, all right? Because right now, I can hardly find a Luftwaffe aircraft in my timeline which shows the symbol on the tail, all right? That has disappeared. It has almost completely disappeared. Either they blur it, okay? They, they show the tail, they have the decal on, but it's blurred, you don't see it. Or they don't show the tail. Or they put up uh, different markings, like a captured aircraft. They have RAF um, markings over the German markings or something like that. Or, of course, many other countries were also using um, German aircrafts in that period of time. So you could find um, um, manufacturers which are offering um, markings of other countries. Some people are talking about, you know, leaving to other platforms. Some people say, ah, you know what, I'm fed up for the moment, I will stop posting on my Instagram channel. Some people say, you know, let's change the platform. Head over to Facebook or Discord or an, another another like um, community site. Even, I don't know, TikTok, Twitter, I have no idea. Like me personally, I don't know what are the options. What else to do? I mean, I have my Twitter account, which I absolutely enjoy. I enjoy Twitter, but I also, to be completely honest, have to say that, you know, I wouldn't like to only post on Twitter just because I can't post on Instagram 
what I want anymore. It's not that I that I have to post Luftwaffe aircrafts with big insignias, okay? That's not the case, but I just want to do what I want because I don't want nobody to tell me what I should build, in what way and how, um, what should be shown in the picture, all right? This is my hobby. I want to do it. I'm doing the decisions here, okay? I'm the captain. I'm the pilot of my ship or whatever. So what do you think? What are the options? What is, what is the solution to this? Just keep on posting the way you post on the channels you did before and just see what's coming and try to deal with it or should we just meet on another on another platform or just go everybody heads over to discord or what shall we do what is your solution to it what do you um suggest we should do now the thing with the cancel culture and the thing with the censorship is is so delicate because there is a very thin line there's a very very thin line and somebody has to decide if you know we have the freedom of speech we can we can talk about our opinion everybody can have an opinion as long as you're not insulting people or or uh, you know doing hate speeches and promoting crime or hate or glorifying uh, violence or something there is a thin line sometimes you know it's it's not so easy to say always Sometimes it's very easy, but sometimes it's a bit difficult. And it's also, yeah, the, maybe it's also the background you have. Like, people are telling me in the comments that, you know, they maybe have relatives who even fought in the war, okay? And they are not being offended by seeing a model of an aircraft with the German insignia, with the, with, with the certain symbol on. Because they say, I mean, I know it's there, it was there, why should we... Um, why, why should I feel offended about it? And what made me kind of emotional was also that some people say that, you know, I lost or my family lost family members or I lost some relatives in the war. And it would be a shame to those people who lost their lives, who gave their lives, you know, lost their lives in the war. If we now just censor that certain symbol and act like it never happened. Of course, we do not act like the war never happened, but it has this direction, you know? It has this character. It has this character. Like, we should not speak about it. We should not speak about it, Harry. Stay quiet. Don't say the name, Harry. We do not speak his name. So what do you think? Is your opinion that, you know, a plastic scale model in context is appropriate if it's historically accurate and fact-based or do you think no man you're making a, a decision this is your personal decision it's your will and you're making a political statement i mean how difficult has scale modeling become in 2022 it's not enough that you have to think about the instructions and the paint job and the weathering and what part to paint at which stage of the build and what and when which clear coat and what products you can combine and not combine and stuff like that no and you cannot only um, um, focus yourself on reference photos and stuff like that no you have to be thinking about political correctness also and hey what about the pilots where are the female pilots, please? Why on earth are all the pilot figures males? Shouldn't there be any female pilots? So the cancel culture ghost is haunting my Instagram timeline. And you know, like, what do you say? Is that the right thing to do? Just, you know, to stay out of trouble because everybody know what is your opinion and everybody knows that you have that symbol on the tail you just don't show it i mean is it not showing tails or is it not showing balls where is the border of cancel culture where is the border where does it end you know where does cancel culture end and freedom of speech starts i mean these are big topics and i just want to talk about scale modeling man let me know in the comments please Leave your opinion in the comments. It was so interesting reading all of your comments. You guys are the best. I mean, you guys are crazy. 
I never knew that you are so crazy. I know that you're crazy, okay? I know you're crazy, but I never knew that you're that crazy, man. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video, if you like the content, so you will never miss any more videos that I will upload because it might be the next big thing, bro. So thanks for watching. Make sure you stay safe and see you in the next video.